So, let's open it together. <gasps> I don't know if you remember, it may be a month ago or two months ago, I went to the Long Tromp showroom and I fell in love with this bag. It is now available to purchase online as well if you are interested. Um, but they have kindly loaned this bag to me so I can use it for Copenhagen Fashion Week next week. It's just beautiful. The colour, the shape. Oh, it's such a dream. Such a dream. Mm. It's so lovely. Um, so this one, they actually said we would love to gift Chloe a bag so she can keep it. Um, and the one that I picked is this beautiful little burgundy um, leather with like the luminous kind of like neon green on the side. I think it's beautiful. I think it's such a cute little size. I love the colour, especially the pop colour on the side. It does also come with a long strap. So one side is burgundy and then the other side is the aluminous green. Um, yeah, adorable. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But what a lovely start to my Monday. You can see my blueberry syrup is here. I'm actually going to wait for it to cool down a bit before I put the lid on, um, but it's good. I'm hoping it will be good. And then I did also put in a jar um, the blueberries that I used. I kind of squashed them a bit in the sieve because I wanted to get all of the juices out. And instead of chucking them, I was like, oh, well, it's kind of like a little compote and then like when Eli has his um, yoghurt in the morning or whatever it would be quite nice to put on top so I mean I, can, I chose the complete wrong jar because look how big the jar is <laughs> in comparison to the blueberries but it's fine um, so yeah it was really fun to do and hopefully it will taste nice we'll try it tomorrow when the syrup's kind of like had a nice 24 hours to sit and you know do its thing syrup so maybe next time maybe next time I only do like four or five it is yummy though it looks rank but it is actually quite yummy please excuse the way I look and sound annoyingly I'm really ill in the middle of summer um so just feel a bit honest um but it's fine it's fine 
me and Nina have got a day at home today because it's about, I think London's gonna hit 31 degrees today, which is, it's hot, you know, and the UK, UK heat is just kind of different than like abroad heat, I think. Um, I just, the UK just doesn't prepare for it at all. Like we don't have any air con, especially in London, the city just gets really stuffy. Um, so it's not the most enjoyable, if I'm honest. So obviously I will not be taking Luna out today until the evening, until it's really cooled down for a little walk. I learned to enjoy this. It's very sweet, like I said, so I might add a bit more milk to kind of dilute it or something. And then I think I'm gonna sit on the balcony and do a little bit of reading. Um, Lena's gonna stay inside, we've got two fans. I've turned them off obviously because I'm recording. Um, but as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna put both of the fans on and it will cool this kind of room down for her. Or she'll probably just trot off into the bedroom and uh, sleep on the bed because it's so shaded and cool in there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and enjoy the sunshine a little bit um, and just take it easy. So a very boring, Tuesday, unfortunately, nothing to really update you on. Um, but the blueberry matcha was a partial success, so yeah. Hello, I really do want to apologize that this week's video is rather short. Um, and not a lot of interesting content. I've been at home pretty much this whole week. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, I've been really ill. Um, I'm kind of coming to the end of it now, but it just sort of wiped me out a little bit. So, hence why I didn't go out. Um, but as you can see, the chaos in the lounge right now and the kitchen is me trying to pack for Copenhagen. Um, I don't know what to wear i'm just struggling because it's gonna be warm out there it's gonna be about 23 24 and i just really struggle with summer outfits that's Lena's ball um i much prefer i mean we all know i much prefer autumn i like to be able to layer and wear jackets and jumpers and all of that and with summer i can't obviously do that and i feel like my outfits are really boring because i have to wear very simple items so I don't sweat. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really, really having to rack my brain on like how I can look cool for fashion week but also stay cool for the temperature. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm not going to lie. Today is Sunday and I fly out Monday morning um, but I'm staying around my friend's house the night before which is this evening because we're all gonna travel up together. Um, so I have to finish packing today, like I have no choice. It's midday um, and I'm not even close to being done. So I need to crack on. But what I did want to talk about is a book update. Um, because I've been at home a lot due to the heat wave, obviously I didn't want to get Lena out in the heat, um, and also feeling ill, I've just been Chilling. I've taken this week very, very slow um, because I know Copenhagen Fashion Week I'm going to feel quite overwhelmed. It's quite busy. So I've taken this week slow to recharge um, or to pre-charge. So I started Akatar, these books. I cannot explain to you. She's put something in these books. They're addictive. Oh my goodness. A part of me is like so annoyed that I hadn't started these books sooner. But then at the same time, I'm like, ah, oh, I know I wasn't in the right, it wasn't right, it wasn't the right time. I was still in other book worlds I was reading and now it's been a bit of time since I finished those and I'm, I was so ready to dive into another world and pff, did not disappoint. Like a lot of people have said, the first one, it was really good, but it did take a while for me to get into it. Um, the last 100 pages, pff, what? Insane, amazing, obsessed. So yeah, I think this one, I started on Monday and then I finished it Wednesday. And then I immediately 
started this one, which is the second one. It's a little bit more chunkier, as you can see. Holy crapples. This book... I stayed up last night until half two in the morning because I had to read to the end. I had to know what was going to happen. I needed to know more and I was just... I've got no words. I've got no words for this book. Um, I understand why people were raving about this series, you know? I'm going to start the third one tomorrow when I'm on the plane and I just... I'm obsessed. It's amazing. It's so amazing. And again, the last like 100 pages of this book. <gasps> I can't. I can't. Um, so, yeah, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying reading Akatar. Um, like I said, third one will start tomorrow. Um, again, it's another chunky boy. And it'll probably take me a little longer to. Um, finish the third one just because I'm away obviously next week and I'm busy at Copenhagen um but yeah can't go over it I can't stop thinking about it I can't stop thinking about this book um anyway that was a very quick book update um I am going to leave this video here again I'm very sorry for how short and sweet it is um it wasn't meant to be I wanted to do lots of fun things this week and take you along with me but me being ill just kind of put a stump on that and it's fine but the next video will be quite fun because I'll obviously be in Copenhagen um, which I'm very excited for um, so I hope you all have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you for the next video bye